Just had some new tools arrive to make life a little bit easier and jobs quicker. Let me see what we've got. Right, a Milwaukee cordless rivet gun and cordless ratchet, half inch. old screw to uh, cut the side seat. This is my first purchase of any Milwaukee tools, and I think I'm saying it correctly. This feels good, it's nice and feels like a good weight, it feels solid. Got a rivet collection uh, thing there, more 12 volt battery, and there's a torch. Needs charging. But first impressions, that's it's quite nice. So I wanted a power riveter and the battery ones are very expensive and the air ones, well I'm sure they're very good, they're inconvenient, you have to go and connect up to an air source. In my case, if I have a truck, an ex-army truck, it would mean connecting up, it would mean starting the engine, connecting up to the airline. So I wanted a cordless riveter and the Milwaukee one. Without batteries, it's about 140 pounds. That might be ex expert. So I thought I'd give it a go because I do quite a lot of riveting. And when I built my truck, I, you know, so much work and squeezing those rivets. I was actually squeezed thousands of rivets off. So I wanted to have an easy, quick way of riveting. Um, I bought this, I'm going to give it a go. Now, all the videos on YouTube I've looked at. They were in a workshop and the work they were doing, it was unnecessary, it was just to test it out. Now I'm doing a real world application here. We're putting this aluminium skin onto this um, expedition truck. I've got this line of rivets here. Now I'm going to pop all the rivets. Now it's taking me, all the others I've done, between four, five seconds of rivet. Um, this is a one and a half mil skin into a three mil um, skin. So you know, four mil, if we can, a million. Rivets are 12 mil, yeah, 4.8 mils. Okay, so here we go. So, I'm tilting it back to the rivet out, out the barrel. To the rivet, clear. And as they go, you can see the skin gets pulled in tight. A bit of glue squirts at the bottom. That's great. So that's that's a real time saver and effort. One more here. That's done, that has made a what's probably a 20 minute job of riveting into five minutes. So the labour saving on that alone is excellent. I'd like to try some bigger material but I'm quite pleased with this. It only takes this 12 volt batteries and you've got your other adapters here for different size rivets. This has a torch, which is quite nice. I like torches and power tools, it makes the job much easier. Belt hook. It's a nice little tool, I would recommend it. Um, I'm very pleased I bought it. So, having used this now, um, a couple of small jobs, about 100 rivets. I think it's brilliant. It does the job, it's quick. It's very simple. A lot of the ones on the market, they are very expensive in comparison to this. The air tools aren't, they're quite the very reasonably cheapish, but you obviously require connection to air 
Now right now, in this environment I'm in, all my tools are cordless. I have no air compressor unless I was to start the truck, this truck. And then you're running a great big six litre engine just to use this. Now of course I could be using this. And these work great, this particular one. Um, I can't read the brand on it anymore. This has been brilliant, very pleased with this. But when you pop in hundreds of rivets, it takes time and this is at least takes a quarter of the time to, to do one of them, maybe much quicker. So I think four or five seconds per rivet with this. Now when you pull in 4.8mm rivets, this is where this really comes in. The little 3mm rivets, you can put them all day with this, but the big ones, this really is a time saver and an effort saver. Now when I was building my expedition truck, I literally pulled thousands of rivets, as well as beating stuff with hammers and just working 50 hours a day on my truck, but 50 hours a week on my truck for the 18 months really took its toll on my arms. I had uh, tendinitis. So having the tools like this, which save you so much effort, really is great. Now if you're building an expedition truck, there's a tendency to not want to invest in tools because you want to go traveling. You want to spend your money traveling, not building your truck really, or especially not on tools. Now that was a big mistake that I made. I put off a lot buying a lot of tools that I wanted because I didn't want to spend the money. And I kept thinking to myself, I'll be finished soon. The reality is that the jobs drag on and on. And having tools like this will save you time and actually will save you money. In my case, I was taking time unpaid leave at work to finish my truck. If I had bought one of these, that could be a day of my time spent at work earning money rather than pulling rivets. So this would almost pay for itself. So that's when you when you're looking at tools, think about not is that an expensive tool, how much time is it going to save you, and will it pay for itself? And I believe this will very quickly pay for itself. This Milwaukee rivet gun, I recommend it. I'll be putting this on my website. Um, that's how much I love it. But be in mind, I've only had this two days. This is not a long-term review. I can't comment on how long it's going to last. But being Milwaukee. And by its weight and the way it feels, I think this is going to be a, a good tool to last probably at least the next 10 years. And I think with tools like this, it's the battery technology that lets you down. And, and what I mean by that is they changed the battery system. The technology has moved on, the brand moves on to a better technology. And so you can no longer get the batteries you need for the tools you have. My channel is not about tools, reviews. It's about me traveling overlanding and so at the moment it's going to be about me building trucks. I am building trucks. I like building trucks. I want to build a new one for myself to upgrade Matilda. Now Matilda's great, but I just like building trucks. I want to build a bigger, better truck for myself. I want to build myself a six-wheel drive Arctic exploration vehicle because I want to go to the North Pole in a solar-powered truck that I built. So that's the reason I'm buying tools like this, investing, and I want to share my experiences with people. There's very little online, very few of your views about this. So I think I just wanted to share my thoughts for people like me that want to go and see if this is worthwhile buying. If you want to see some reviews on some of the other tools that I use, um, leave a comment below and I'll uh, do what I can. Subscribe, like and leave a comment below if you want to hear more about tools.